What's going on, boxing fans? This is Kenneth SB Boxing. For everyone, of course, subscribe. Let's speak boxing. I finally made it. I'm here at the Little MGM. Uh, right now, it's a little quiet. As you can see in the background, there's nobody. But I'm out here right now just creating this quick video before the Canelo versus Cotto fight. Um, we are throwing a bash, you know, at SBN Boxing. It's a family oriented channel. We're known for throwing the biggest um, boxing gathering, boxing parties out there for the major events, boxing fights. You got George Drop Boxing Genius. You got myself. You got Angel Chino Sanchez that's finally going to come back. You got um, Clyde. Clyde the Godfather. You got Waki You Don't Say. You got just Steven Suave Tate, which he's in North Carolina right now. He's definitely not going to be here. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of friends and family. We're going to get out. We're going to watch the Canelo versus Cotto fight or Cotto versus Canelo fight since Cotto is the A side. There goes George the Boxing Genius right there. Uh, <clears throat> we're watching the face off. I want to talk a little bit about the face off. I want to talk about the 24-7. Um, and I want to talk about the hype job that Freddie Roach and Oscar De La Hoya both combined have going on. Um, on the face off, that was pretty good. Um, it, it looks like definitely Max Kellerman, which he's really, really good. He's definitely uh, he's a veteran when it comes to stirring the pot. Um, with these face-offs, um, you can see that, you know, Cotto was, was laid back, um, confident, I would say 80% confident. I think he was a little shocked that uh, when Max told him the, the odds as far as uh, they have Canelo and Vegas uh, favoring um, to win the fight. Um, but other than that, you know, Canelo was calm, cool, collective. He answered uh, his responses very professional. You know, he respected Cotto. He showed Cotto respect. He basically uh, said that he's going to do whatever he has to do to prepare for this fight. He started the training camp a little bit early. Could that, could that affect him or that, could that hold to his advantage? Who knows? There is such thing as overtraining. Um, but, you know, um, in the, in the face-off, you had Freddie Roach speaking about, you know, that, uh, that he knows several of the sparring partners that are in, in, in Canelo's training camp and whatever the case may be. And matter of fact, the sparring partners – train at wild card um so you know it, 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 freddie roach definitely you know he does what he does best that's shit talking try to get in your head and i'm glad that canelo's camp basically said it you know um, they respect freddie roach but freddie roach has been wrong a lot of times and that's what exactly what his game plan is is try to get in his head um but Cotto was laid back Cotto knows what he has to do as far as the weigh-in um as predicted you know miguel Cotto came in under the 154 um even though the catch weight was at 155 he weighed at 153 and a half um, Canelo, Canelo looked drained, man. I was telling George the Boxing Genius, you know, uh, yeah. Canelo looked like a, a little skeleton, man. Um, you know, I, I noticed that he did make the 152 uh, catch weight against Mayweather, and he looked really, really good. He definitely prepared for that fight, but for some reason, when he went ahead and uh, came into the weigh-in, he looked completely drained, you know. Um, but we'll definitely see how it goes. You know, he weighed in at 150, 155, uh, you know, exactly. Um, but you know, just like when he <coughs> James Kirkland? No, no, no. No, no uh, he, he looked a little, he looked a little drained. Um, but the only thing, the good thing, the good thing about it, he has his youth. You know, in his 30s, he can't get away with stuff like that. Um, there's been a lot of speculations that he's been having issues as far as making weight and things like that. But it's going to be an action-packed fight. You know, um, I'm actually excited, excited to speak about this fight. You know, it's been a while since uh, we we covered boxing. But we still watch the fights, you know. But as far as the Canelo, Cotto, we're going to have a lot of friends and family. Um, but this is going to be a, a high action pace fight. You know, I think Cotto is definitely going to be a little bit more patient. I don't think he's going to bring the fight to Canelo whatsoever. I think uh, uh, Canelo's definitely, his advantage, he's going to have to press Cotto. He's just going to have to walk him down. That's basically it. Um, I don't think Canelo has to sit there and try to box Cotto. Cotto, on the other hand, I think Cotto is going to have to do what he does best and try to um, be patient, box him whatsoever, utilize the angles. I think he's, he's quicker than Canelo. Um, Freddie Roach, definitely, even though he's, he calls them tomato cans, but uh, the last three opponents were a bunch of tomato cans. But uh, <laughs> Cotto, looks, he looks good, you know. He looks versatile. He's utilizing the ring, you know. He's using different angles. Uh, offensively, he got, he got his, uh, his ammunition up there. Um, but Canelo itself, man, he, Canelo, Canelo's a beast. Canelo, you know? Cotto's getting his money because of Freddie Rose. Freddie knows, <coughs> Freddie Rose knows what the hell he's doing. Freddie knows what he's talking about. Freddie Rose is a soup. He knows how to soup up people. He knows how to make selections too. I mean, don't forget now. 
Cotto was supposed to defend the side against Triple G. That was his that was his actual, actual component. He was supposed to defend his title against Triple G. He was G. stripped. He was stripped from the title. He was belt. stripped at the time. So now, why was that? Because Freddie Roach, and he knows himself. He knows damn well he cannot go in there against Triple G. Yep. Now, he fought those three tomato cans. The guy from Delvin Rodriguez, when he fought at 154, a fucking bum. Then he fights Sergio Martinez for the title. At 157, he brings him down. A guy who has knee braces going into the goddamn ring. I have never seen anybody, any boxer, somebody please write a comment and give me a name. If you've seen any boxer in professional boxing today, especially a champion that goes inside the ring with knee braces. That tells you a lot of things. He's crippled. Freddie Rose selected him. He selected Delvin Rodriguez as his comeback. Then he comes in. And he fights who? A guy from, from Australia. A guy who hunts kangaroos for a living. Fucking <laughs> Daniel Gill. Daniel Gill had just beaten some guy afterwards. No, that was, excuse me, I think he fought another guy, Gerard Fletcher. His compadre in Australia, Gerard Fletcher. For a PABA, I've never heard that goddamn title <coughs> in my life. PABA, vacant PABA title. Don't know what the fuck it stands for, by the way. And there was a title that said WBO Asian Pacific Champion. Now, where the hell did they get that from? From the Cracker Jack box. Kellogg's makes that shit. You know, those are the things I talk about. And I can tell people, it's not the way I see the fight. It's not a thing about that Kodo. Uh, Looks good, yes. He looked good against those three tomato cans. And people say, oh, he has his left hook back hitting into the gut and this and that. But the thing about it is, is that Canelo also has a left hook that hits to the gut. Go ask Jane Kirkland. Go ask Angulo. Okay? Go ask Austin Trout. See, people don't look at Canelo's resume. Because a lot of Boricuas, Puerto Ricans say, oh, he ain't fought nobody. Who the fuck do you want to fight? Cotto ain't fought nobody. The last three fights that Cotto fought, I just mentioned three fucking bums to you. Well, at the end of the day, Canelo did fight Kirkland, but I don't think Kirkland... Kirkland was inactive for a while, and Kirkland... Didn't yes, look but good. Kirkland... Didn't look good to me. He's but, a puncher. But the, the, Canelo looked good when he fought Lada. Yeah, he and, Can Lada no, and Kirkland could slug you. Kirkland hit Canelo with some shots. Do you think... Do I think... Do I think Canelo... Uh, can't take Cotto's left hook because you say, oh, watch him hit that left hook. I want to see that left hook. Right. You know why I want to see that left hook when they come with it? Because he's going to do to me like Duran used to do to people. When you hit him with that shot and he says, that's the best shot you've got for me, well, guess what? I'm going to go kick your ass. And people are going to think that Cotto is going to box. Cotto can box. People don't think Cotto, I mean, Canelo, Cotto boxes. Yeah, Canelo right. boxes too. Yeah, but we need Cotto. If Cotto comes in and, 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 and utilizes the game plan and just boxes and don't press the fight like he did against Austin Trout, Austin he Trout, lose. he was trying to knock out Austin Trout. Yeah. Austin Trout just, just no. he, he lost the first four four rounds of the fight, and Cotto, then Austin Trout picked it up. Cotto is not Mayweather. Or Canelo is not Mayweather. But Cotto can box, man. Cotto can box, but Canelo can box too. Canelo got speed. Canelo, th people think that Canelo is not fast. Canelo is fast. Again, he can't show it against Mayweather. Who can show it against Mayweather? Nobody could. Yeah, but Canelo gets sloppy as well. Yeah, so but Cotto gets more sloppier. Right. You know, people see that, people see that Cotto, when Cotto fought Mayweather, Cotto got beat up a little bit. Mayweather got beat up a little bit. But again, I say to people, one, Cotto is not going to get hit by Mayweather. He's getting hit by Canelo. And people look at what Pacquiao did to him in 12 rounds of boxing. 12 rounds of boxing, what Pacquiao did to Cotto, and people say, oh, yeah, but that was way back when he was. I don't care. He's the same guy. Freddie Roach, what does Freddie Roach do? He made him a super guy. He souped him up better. He pumped him up. He took him to wild card gym. But Freddie Roach is not getting fucking hit in the damn ring. Look what Teddy Atlas did to damn Timothy Bradley. He would tell him, look, my guy, blah, blah, blah. He's souping his ass up. And Timothy Bradley got pumped up. But again, Timothy Bradley was fighting a fucking bum, a shadow. So it's different, man.
That's all Freddie Roach's job is. He's an excellent trainer, but again, he's got his ass whooped a lot of times. All right? Who do I got? I got Canelo by a knockout before the 10th round. I asked for You got Canelo. I got Canelo by the 10th round. Canelo's going to have to press the fight. That's basically it. Just press the fight. Um, and that's it. You know, when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, Miguel Cotto, Miguel Cotto, you, you're gonna have to box, man. That's it. You're gonna have to box. Don't don't sit there and try to press. Don't sit there and try to brawl. Um, you know, Canelo's not Gil. You can't sit there and exchange because that's just that's not gonna happen. You're gonna sit there and have to box, box, box. But at the end of the day, I have to go with the George's boxing genius. I have uh, I don't know. It really all depends on on, on Cotto. On this one, uh, my heart goes out with Cotto, um, but I really don't know. This is a tough fight. I can't even give a prediction on this fight. <laughs> I don't know. I said the thing with people. I'm gonna have a lot of opposition. I'm gonna have a lot of people on opposite from me. You're gonna have a lot of Puerto Ricans. Oh damn, Indians! You you Puerto Rican? Why the fuck you can't go? For, I told people, if this is not about me, that is, being me, that is. You're asking me. Who would I like to win? I'm going to tell you. I would like Cotto to win. As a Puerto Rican, I would love Cotto to win. I say, if this fight, if this fight would have happened like six years ago, five years ago, I would have said Cotto all day. Thank you. Um, but right now, I'm not impressed whatsoever. I think Cotto. I, I don't know. People get impressed by the Gil fight. <laughs> um, I'm, not, I'm not impressed by that. Um, but I, I would definitely. I, I'm going for Canelo on this fight for sure. That's it. That's right. For sure. I'm going to have to go with the odds and the matchmakers on this one. All right, guys, it's kind of that to me a boxing promo request. Subscribe. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to stream or anything like that, but uh, I'll start getting ready and things. Um, have a good one.